I've obtained this strange looking scrambled message that appears to contain some kind of written text. My sources tell me that it contains information that was written by the Romans. Hopefully, I can decipher this message and stop those pesky Romans from constantly invading my empire. First, I'll try to unscramble the message using something that the Romans are known for, substitution ciphers. One very common substitution cipher involves taking every letter of the alphabet and shifting its position to the left three places. For example, the letter Z becomes W, the letter Y becomes V, the letter X becomes U, and the first three letters of the alphabet simply wrap around. So A becomes X, B becomes Y, and C becomes Z. What I really need is a built-in command line tool that automatically does this operation for me. That's exactly what the TR command could do. The TR command allows you to do a number of different single character operations on text or binary data. Most importantly, you can delete specific characters and replace specific characters. At the moment, we're specifically interested in the ability of the TR command to replace individual characters. For example, this TR command will replace any occurrence of the letter E with a dash character. The TR command also allows you to replace entire classes of characters. Most of the character classes are specified in POSIX style notation. For example, we can use this character class with the TR command to match any alphanumeric characters. In this case, we're using the dash C flag, which tells the TR command to match the opposite set of characters that are specified as the first argument for the replacement. Therefore, the effect of this TR command will be to find any characters that are not alphanumeric characters and replace them with a period. This can be useful in cases when you only want to view alphanumeric characters in data that's mostly binary, such as an executable. Let's see what happens when we take the contents of the bash executable and run it through this tr command. The tr command also lets you list out the individual characters that you want to replace. For example, this tr command will replace this set of characters with this set of characters. The way the tr command will interpret this will be to translate the letter A to the letter X, the letter B to the letter Y, the letter C to the letter Z, and so on. Writing out every letter of the alphabet like this can be tedious, but on some systems, you can specify character ranges like this. However, this is not always a portable solution. The reason is that when the character ranges are expanded, the ordering of the characters is not always guaranteed to be the same. If you check the info pages for the TR command, the section on character sets describes more about this topic. For example, it documents that on some obscure hosts that use EBCDIC, the ordering of the characters A-Z is not the same as it would be in ASCII. It's also worth noting that the character range syntax looks very similar to the syntax used in regular expressions. However, this syntax is not treated consistently with the TR command. The TR command doesn't treat square brackets the same way that they're treated in a regular expression. As it says in this documentation, this TR command will delete characters 0 to 9 and square bracket characters. Therefore, to get the right result, you should explicitly list out every character in the desired order in set 1 and set 2. If the number of characters specified in the second set is smaller than the number of characters specified in the first set, any characters in the first set that don't have a corresponding character in the second set will simply be matched to the last character in the second set. In this case, this would be the character D. Let's use the TR command to apply the shift left by 3 cipher on the text ABC. And here is the result. And here's what it looks like on the text hello world. Since this cipher is simply a shift left by three characters to scramble the message, we should be able to unscramble the message by doing a right shift of three. We can achieve this with the TR command by simply reversing the ordering of the translated character sets. Therefore, if our scrambled message uses this cipher, we should be able to recover it 
with a command that looks something like this. Once again, here's our scrambled message. And here is the same message again, piped through the tr command to translate every lowercase letter of the alphabet three positions right. Okay, this almost looks readable. I can see a few words in here, but it's still hard to understand. It looks like all of the uppercase letters are also scrambled. Let's pipe the message through another tr command, but this time with uppercase letters. Once again, we'll assume the same cipher is used. Here we go. This looks a little bit more readable, but it still contains way too many spaces. Let's take every instance of multiple spaces and collapse them into a single space. Once again, the tr command can help us solve this problem. The dash s flag with tr will squeeze repeated characters together, taking multiple instances of a repeated character and replacing it with a single character. Let's take our previous output and pipe it into tr-s and a space. Okay, this message looks much more readable now. But if you look here, the date is clearly wrong. March 81? That doesn't make sense. Let's assume that the Romans are using the exact same cipher to scramble the numbers as well. We can add this tr command to our shell pipe to do a right shift on all digit characters as well. Here we go, March 14th, 44 BCE. This sounds more realistic. This message looks like it's probably worth saving. Let's pipe it to a file. And once again, here is the message that we obtained from our tr commands. Let's look at this file in Vim. For some reason, Vim shows a bunch of control characters. Let's look at the binary data for this file to see what's going on. Looking at the hex dump for this file shows that for some reason, there are null characters between every word in this file. To get rid of these, we can also use the tr command. The dash d flag with tr can be used to delete individual characters. We can take the contents of this file and pipe it into tr dash d for delete, and then specify a null character. Let's pipe this directly into vim. Here we go, this is closer to what we want. As you can see, we've gotten rid of most of the control characters, but there are still a few remaining. If we pipe this result into xxd again, you can see that the null characters are gone, but this file contains carriage return characters. Clearly, the Romans must have written this message on a Windows computer. No wonder their empire fell. To get rid of the unwanted carriage return characters, we can use another tr command with the dash d flag. Then we can specify slash r for carriage return. Let's pipe this directly into vim. There we go, this looks much cleaner. If we pipe this into xxd again, you can see that we've gotten rid of all of the null characters and the carriage return characters. Now the message is much cleaner looking and easier to work with. Thanks to the tr command, I'm finally starting to get ahead in life. Using the information that I've gathered in this message, I'm well on my way to conquering the Roman Empire and completing my lifelong goal of world domination.